question mark. How, how do you think you go out as a group? Yeah, you know, I think we, we showed that we can, we can compete. Um, you know, imagine us with a, a full preseason under our belt and, and playing a few friendlies together. So, uh, you know, we're, we're kind of underdogs the whole tournament and, and uh, that was something we, we used as motivation, obviously. And, uh, you know, I think Kurt said we'd only win one game. Well, we won two. So uh, that's, you know, obviously proving people wrong. And, and uh, like I said, once, you know, once emotions die down, I think uh, there's a lot to be proud of. But uh, still, you know, uh, being that close, it hurts a lot. The power you wield when you are the one soccer expert. So our very own Kurt Larson predicted Atletico Ottawa would only That's win one game. Ben Fisk and company took note of that. That's not what happened. So what I, said, what I said was if they win a game, it'll be a success. If they win one game. So it's a success. So, so the tournament overall, you look at that. A win in your in scenario. And they come up short today, but still successful tournament for Atletico Ottawa. Nobody here predicted that. Nobody here predicted that. Uh, I don't think anybody anywhere predicted that. No one in Ottawa, Ben Fisk didn't even predict, predict this. Um, but I think they have a lot to do in the offseason, and I'll tell you why. It's because I think their team was built just for this kind of a competition because there's no depth. You guys can't name anybody on their bench. Uh, and, and, and they had some good pieces that got them. You can't. They, so they have no depth. They have to go out and get some depth because over the course of a 28-game season, right. traveling coast to coast in Canada, this team would have been but, worn but, down. But we understand a lot of that had to do with international players not being able to enter the country due, due to COVID-19. I think that the foundation that they showed, the fact that they played within their system, Josh, the first 11 can go out and compete with any other team in this tournament. I think it's a feel-good story here at the Island Games. Yeah, I mean, anytime you prove Kurt Larson wrong, it is a feel-good story. <laughs> um, that's but, what I, but that's not what happened. All right. But what I think here is I, I still think they're, they're on the right path, but I still think they're pretty far from, you know, kind of adhering to that Atletico mentality, right? We saw fits of it right there, kind of upset win over Pacific to me was their defining performance. They just kind of hung around. They played that gritty football and then upset to me – Probably the best team in the tournament so yeah. far in Pacific. Just right? quickly, I, and like, Calvary. I wanted to get in before we got to go. I like Shaw. I think Karuma's earned a chance to come back next season. Acuna, we all we all like him. Yeah. Uh, no Phil, um, Fisk, of course. So John they had, was great. They had, they had, they had pieces, Hamilton. but that's where it ends. But I just don't think they're, yeah, and, and to your point, I just don't think they're there. They've fully realized that vision yet. I think they have an idea about what it is, but they don't have the pieces yet. They haven't found those pieces. And they haven't had time yeah. to find those pieces. But the fact that Mista was a, 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 able to establish that culture so quickly, yeah. that bodes well.